Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you all the things that this Foxwell i70 Pro can do on this old Mercedes S-Class from 1999 with a 3.2 liter V6 engine. See what bidirectional function it has on this old car, what maintenance you can do and what you can reset from it. The OBD2 port is right there. Now we've got the OBD2 updated. Okay. So this OBD2 is going to be available for all the cars. It's not specific for any model and live data let's see complete list so we've got fuel status for each bank calculated load value when the engine is running under a load long term and short term fuel trim for each bank manifold pressure command the secondary air status this is going to be for the evap and a lot of information about the oxygen sensors okay so these are the live data you can see in generic mode Freeze frame is when you get a trouble code and you want to see the live data in that exact moment when the trouble code happened. This is a test before the technical inspection you can do. You've got here the evaporative system, secondary air system, oxygen sensors and all these important things for the emission. Here you can test the oxygen sensors. You can see if they react well component test okay this one is not supported that's pretty much it about the obd2 okay so now let's go to mercedes and see okay so it doesn't support the smart vin let's go to manual a lot safer we've got s220 let's see a quick scan and see how many problems this car has one cool detail you can see that diagnose sign coming on the ac control module now the sign is on the TV screen. Okay, so now you can see we've got 29 modules. Most of them are not so useful like TV tuners and sound system, cellular telephone. But we've got the most important on top here. And on the transmission, it looks like we've got 11 fault codes. I believe that's because I unplugged the connector from the transmission control module. And then I try to start the car. I've got the screenshots of the codes. Now I can clear them. Let's see, read codes. Okay, so now it has no codes. We've got the electronic stability program. Steering angle sensor is not initialized. By the way, if you've got that error with entrance position, do not drive. That scary warning is because all this steering adjustment, it's a part as well of the ABS and ACP module, which is a safety for the car. And that's how you can see. For example, I get rid of a lot of codes until now without doing anything because they were not real. It's just because of the connector being unplugged. ACM. Okay, the left rear wheel RPM signal sent from the traction system via the CAN bus is implausible. Okay, so to read the signals from the CAN bus, you're going to need an oscilloscope. And let's see, clear the codes. I know these will come back once you drive the car. So basically, you can do the same thing on all these modules from the engine to the airmatic, DCM. These are for the door control modules. Parktronic system we've got here. I know the Parktronic system has a real problem because the sensors do not respond sometimes. But for example, on the transmission, you can check the solenoid valves. Okay, so I have to select the lever in the D position. Let's see, on. And I can hear the click. Torque converter lockup. Yeah, so you can hear the sound. It means that at least there is command to it and it responds. Yeah, so from this point you can go ahead and measure the current and it should be between these two values. So for example, if your transmission doesn't shift between a combination of these gears, then you can go ahead and check it out. You can test it as you can see, for example, four to five. Okay, so in order to complete this adaptation, you need to have the car running or have it on a dynamometer. So this is about the transmission. Now let's go, for example, to Airmatic. Now that makes sense because the rear wheels are always lower after the car was sitting for a couple of days. So you can basically lift and lower each wheel and check if everything works fine. From this point I'm going to show you which one have active tests and which one doesn't. Active tests meaning bidirectional control. So you can do bidirectional tests on the power window, mirror and interior lighting. Let's see, Parktronic system. It does have active tests. Parktronic has bidirectional electric seat adjustment. Definitely it has, let's see, seat heater. Okay, I can see it here that it's on. 
overhead control panel, you can turn on the lights, automatic air condition, you can turn on the air condition, radio remote, headlamp range, okay, sound system and stationary heater. So these are the modules, guys. You can do pretty much a lot of things for this old car. Obviously, you can go separate on each one of these on engine electronics. From here, you can see as well live data, test engine at idle speed, check smooth engine running, check self-adaptation. So this is the difference, guys, between OBD2 data and when you go into the Mercedes itself. Okay, so if the engine is running, you can turn on and off one of the injectors and you can select which cylinder you want to test the injector. We've got the throttle valve actuator. Now let's see about maintenance. ABS service. Let's see if it's supported. Nope. AFR adaptation. No, it's not available. Now let's see if this car needs a battery relearn when you replace the battery. Okay, we've got only C-Class and A-Class. Change tire size. There's no Mercedes here. Clutch adaptation. This car is automatic. This car doesn't have a CVT transmission. Diesel particle filter, no. But let's see. Because some models are diesel. And yes, it's actually supported. Electronic parking brake. This car doesn't have. But let's go to S-Series. So you can see S221. Yes, they have electronic parking. Evap test. This one should work. But it might not. Yes, I expected that because on this car it's a part of the meal status gear learn i don't think it's for mercedes is not headlamp no it's not immobilizer nope injector no we've got s class s221 language change well odometer is probably not available oil reset okay so let's press to auto reset okay so you can change a lot of things actually here. Days since last oil change. 1930 days. Let's place zero. Prime fuel pump. Is not for Mercedes. Replace airbag. Is not for Mercedes. Because we've got SIS. S220. Road test. F1 road test. Well, I cannot go for road test, but you can do that if you want. Seat match. Nothing for Mercedes. So we've got suspension. Let's see. Should be available? No, it's not. It's loading, but I don't know what's loading because this car doesn't have tire pressure sensors. We've got throttle position sensor. Let's see if it requires calibration. A lot of you guys ask me about that. It probably does. S220. Well, the control unit does not support this function. And transmission adaptation, I don't think it works. Nope. Turbo, this car doesn't have a turbo and windows door. Okay, it's not for Mercedes. So that's pretty much it about the maintenance you can do on this 1999 Mercedes S-Class. Shop manager, well, here you can write the vehicle history. Okay guys, so that was pretty much it about the relationship between i70 Pro and S320. Until next time, drive safe so I can see you in the next video.